Welcome back to my part two of my Super Mario RPG walkthrough. We just finished Mushroom Way and we are now in Mushroom Kingdom. First we're gonna go walk to the item shop. Well, actually first this bitch tells a joke that Mario's standing in shit and you have to jump. And she says, haha, I got you. Well yeah, we're gonna go to the item shop and I'm gonna show y'all uh, where a couple of the hidden uh, treasure chests are in this game. There are a bunch of them everywhere. And I'm just going to tell you the ones that I remember off the top of my head. So don't get pissed off if I forget where one is in a specific part of the game. But right now, there's one in this top right corner. But this stupid toad guy has to walk to a closer spot for me to jump up there and get it. As you can see, he's not. But finally, he did. Alright, now we're going to talk to the owner of the shop and we're gonna buy um, shirt and pants we uh we're gonna equip that later you don't have to right now all right another secret chest is right in here you gotta get on toad's head and jump right there and there it is it's a frog coin it's a different kind of currency in this game. Alright. Now we're at the Chancellor. And Mario is gonna just tell his story of what happened at the castle. And what happened to Peach. And Bowser. And Smitty. And all the other shit that's been going on. Yeah. And of course Mario does it through skits. As you know, he can't talk. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty entertaining when I was a kid. It still is. Gad. And you think that the game you just have to save the princess, but it's much more than that. Compared to like any other Mario game. Mario keeps busting his ass right now. <laughs> the Chancellor just gave us a map, which I really never use. Now he told us to go to the cellar, and you can get free items right here. And the mushroom just restores all your health and flower points. Flower, as I said, is added to your flower points counter. It's like a flower tab, pretty much. It's added to your, your overall magic power. And that big coin is worth 10, and the small ones are worth 1. As we leave the castle, you'll see that this douchebag dinosaur is running away from this puffy cloud thingy. And fail. He stole my grandpa's coin. I'm gonna cry like a little bitch. Wah. I'll go talk to him. He stops crying. <laughs> so you can help me get my coin back. You can take care of Bowser. That guy doesn't stand a chance. Wow, you're the Mario? Awesome. He's Milo from Tadpole Pond, and he's supposed to be a tadpole. So obviously, no, he's not a fucking tadpole. <laughs> You'll hear more about that later in the game. Alright, now we're going to equip our shirt to Mario, and our pants to Milo. Because that increases the overall defense.
Toad is telling me he saw the reptile again. And he said, did he look like this? And I don't know how Mario keeps transforming into different enemies. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> and there he is. He's gonna run right by us. It looks like Mario is having a seizure right now. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna go to Bandit's Way to catch this bastard. There he is! And pretty much you have to chase him through like five or six screens. And you'll fight a bunch of enemies on the way. I'm gonna try to avoid the enemies unless I have to fight people. It'll make the boss battle harder between him, but I'm gonna try to get through it anyway. Just jump on this thing, just keep jumping forward. And there's a hidden box right here. A Coca Cola. Cura Cura Cola, whatever it is. And that um, restores, I think, I forgot how much HP, but it restores it to everybody. I think it's 200. Alright, gonna fight these enemies, kill the wolf. I believe the. Um, Wolf's at 30 HP right now. As you can see, Malo is really weak early in the game. He's, he's primarily used for special attacks. Get this box. It's a um, mushroom. Got all my health back and my flower points, but didn't use any anyway. what the hell that green thing is. I think it has around 80 HP. So it's gonna take a few hits to take him out. He threw some bubble at me, which is kind of disturbing. But he's out. bitch. Alright, for this box it's a, a star. Stars in this game are pretty much just free experience points. Just take out as many enemies as you can before it runs out. And gotta level up. Milo leveled up. Learn HP Rain, which is a skill that heals you. And most points went into fighting, or physical and defensive, um, physical attacks and defense, so I took that. Alright, now I gotta take these, this platform all the way to the right, and I can get an item right here. Another heart. Alright, this is the last screen. You just have to catch or sneak up behind him three times, and then it'll initiate the boss battle. And if you it just like um, if you don't sneak up on him, just walk in front of him, he'll just run away again, and you won't get credited for it. So yeah, yeah you got to make sure you sneak behind. That's two. One more time, and we are going to kick his ass. Here we go. Is that enough's enough, bitch? Give me a damn coin back. Here we go. You can be somewhat difficult for my level right now. I'm only level 3 with 2 people. And Malo's attacks are just shitty right now for against him. You see 18 damage, that's pretty significant for right now. 
recommend probably being around level 4 when fighting them. With both your characters. But I know you all don't want to see a bunch of grinding in my videos, so I'm trying to avoid that. Eh. Yeah, just keep using your special attacks with Mario until you run out of um, flower points. And once that happens, use a honey syrup with uh, Malo. Because his, his attacks suck anyway. The only thing worth using with Malo is Thunderbolt. Because yeah, it always does 17 damage. And that's alright. But Mario's jump will do around 37 to like 41 right now. And Malo's attacks will do like 2 to 4. Which really sucks. And yeah, I keep hearing um, healing periodically. If Mario's down to under 10 HP, you should definitely heal. I should have probably bought some pick-me-ups from the item shop. Those actually revived, knocked out, or KO'd um, characters, so that would have probably been useful. But I'm not going to die, or any of my characters aren't going to die in this battle. And some, yeah, randomly when you use an item, they'll say get a freebie, so you get a free one after you use it. And he's got 60 HP back, bastard. But just keep using the same strategy. That's it, fuck it. Let's just attack now. Because he should be almost dead anyway. I think after he uses the weird mushroom, it's only about 90 more HP you have to take out. 90 to 100, something like that. It could probably be dead after Mario attacks again. There we go. Give me back my coin or I'll belt you. Punched him and a coin flew out. <laughs> and he's like, ah, fuck it. Take the damn coin. Peace, bitches. <laughs> Alright, we got it back. Level up. Learn Fire Orb. HP's the best, or no, was it attack? Yeah, attack was the best right there. And I found a wallet. Alright, take that. It'll bring you back to the beginning of the level. And fuck it, I'll save it. Alright, and that is Bandit's Way. And that concludes part two of this walkthrough.